Hey everybody, it's Rich Brooks of Flight New Media. We're a web design and internet marketing company located in Portland, Maine, and on the web at www.flight.biz. Today we're talking about traffic reports, specifically Google Analytics. Now one of the reasons why you want to pay attention to your, to your traffic reports is to find out how people are finding your website. But the traffic reports will also tell you about their behavior once they get there and what content was most interesting to them. This can give you new insights on your best prospects and your audience. So let's take a look at some of the reports that Google Analytics will generate for you. In the left-hand column, there is the content area. and You click on Content Overview, and you're going to see, by default, the last month of activity. You can get a little bit of overview information. You can also click on Top Content. In the Top Content report, Google's going to let you know about the pages that are most popular on your website in descending order. And by default, they give you the URLs of these different pages. If that doesn't make a lot of sense to you, you can click on Content by Title, which is pretty much the same report, except instead of giving you the URL, it gives you the title of those individual pages, which might make more sense to you. You can also go into Content Drill Down. This report breaks down your content by directory. So we can see that by uh, quite a margin, our most popular area on the website was our resources section, probably because of all of our newsletters and articles that are posted there. Click on resources, and sure enough, we start to see that the newsletters had almost 6,000 page views. We can click on this and continue to break that down by the year, and then if we went into an individual year, about exactly which pages are, are generating the most interest. We can also take a look at top landing pages. Landing pages are the first pages visitors come to on our website. And the logos, that logos page is our number one entrance point. Our home page is number two, and it goes down from there. Another important report is the top exit pages. In other words, what was the last page somebody was on? You're hoping the last page was the, was the contact landing page, the page that somebody filled out uh, after, or the page that somebody saw after they filled out your contact form. But that's not always the case. This report might tell you about certain problems you have. Like a lot of people came to our logos page as their first page, but a lot of people left that page too. So maybe that page isn't doing a good job at converting visitors into customers. And finally, a neat little report is the site overlay. And what this does is it brings up your website with an overlay that tells you as you roll over it how many people clicked on individual links on any one of these pages. So this link, which goes to our home page, it got 7.1% of the clicks. So this tells us we get 118 clicks, and I've set up something called goals, which we'll go into in another time. It tells me what the value of that traffic was, along with how many people went from here to sign up ultimately at our for our email newsletters or filling out our contact form. And this happens at all the different pages on our website. So as I roll over, say, internet marketing, I can see that 2.3% clicked on that link, then I got 0.7%. Um, clicked on website for internet marketing and then all the way down the road. So this can give you some information about how people are finding your web, uh, rather once they're on your website, what they're doing there and where people are clicking on on the page and it gives you a good insight onto the behavior at your website. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about Google Analytics or internet marketing, be sure to go to our website, www.flight.biz, and go to our contact form. Fill it out, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Until next time, this is Rich Brooks of Flight New Media.